sign in. Today I'm going to finally do another cooking video. I have done a lot of cooking, but it takes two or three times as long to do it when I film a video, so I haven't been <laughs> with the time in a while to do this. This is, however, a very, very simple recipe. I've got four ingredients here. This is really quick. It's going to took me longer to set my cameras up than it would have to just make this. Anyway, it's a lovely Wyoming spring-ish day outside, which means the wind has been howling. It's been snowing sideways, and even though the sun uh, of the last few days had um, pretty close to mostly melted our snow, we've got a nice dusting of an inch or so of fresh snow out there, and uh, it's a good day to do things inside. So, this is a pudding, basically, is what I think of it as. Um, it uses chia seeds, coconut milk, I'm going to use some maple syrup to sweeten it, and a little vanilla. Um, and I don't, of course, usually measure, so just for the benefit of anybody watching who wants more than my guess, I'm going to try to tell you what I actually do. So chia seeds are an amazing little seed. They look, I think, kind of like dinosaur eggs, um, if you look at them up close. And when they're dry, they're just a, a silky little seed that doesn't look like much. Kind of looks like little gray grains of sand. So that was a cup of chia seeds. As I said, I usually just pour. This is a can of coconut milk. And we're going to see how this proportion comes out. One of the fascinating things about chia seeds, in addition to being a powerhouse of all kinds of wonderful nutrients and such, is that when they get wet with something like water or coconut milk, they swell up and make this kind of mucusy layer around each little seed, which makes a absolutely wonderful pudding. Um, kind of like a, it has a lot the texture of like coconut pudding, except I think way better. So I'm just mixing my can of coconut milk into the chia seeds. And as you can probably see right now, they just look speckly and little and, and dark. And it's, you know, pretty, uh, you know, still pretty liquid. That's going to change here real rapidly. Um, this is very quick. It requires no cooking. It does need, you know, maybe 15 minutes or so to, to kind of fully set up. So you want to make it just a little bit before you eat it. But you don't need to plan very far ahead, which makes it a, a good thing for me a lot of times, and it's very refreshing and nutritious dessert high in, in lots of micronutrients from the chia seeds and lots of the good fats that your brain needs from the coconut. So now we're going to let that start to sit up. You could do this unsweetened if you want. You could use other sweeteners, honey or sugar. I like to add just a little maple syrup. I'm going to say that's like one, two tablespoons. Maybe two and a half. This little bottle is almost empty. I'm getting a little bit crystallized. Just to add a little tiny bit of sweetness, and I'm going to just stir that in there. And then just a little, again, you could skip this. You could just make this with two ingredients, the, the coconut milk. Apparently my hand isn't strong enough for that this morning. Wow, that must have had a little residue in the threads that sealed down. Um, you could make it with just the chia seeds and coconut milk. I like the flavor of adding a little vanilla. This is, if you want to look up, or maybe I'll try to remember a link at the end, the video of how to make your own vanilla extract. That's very quick and easy. That was probably a generous teaspoon of that. This I made, if I can still read that date, in 2018. So that's almost four years old. And the new batch that I made when I did that video is in the back of the cupboard getting... Uh, getting tasty. Okay, now you can probably see how this has already started to thicken and parts of it are getting chunky, so I want to make sure that I get my my uh, maple syrup and vanilla. That smell of the scent of the vanilla and coconut is just lovely. Um, all thoroughly mixed in there because this is already getting thick and we're going to give it a few more minutes and it will set up to just make sure there's no dry lumps of seeds in there um, set up to kind of the, the texture of a, a very tasty pudding and then you can eat it just by itself 
Um, you, one of my favorite things in the summer to do, which is obviously not summer here, is to top it with fresh berries, whatever kind of wild berries we've got go, uh, growing at the moment. Or um, in the winter I'll usually do either some, some canned fruit or even some jam. I know I've got some service berry jam, Saskatoon berries, June berries, whatever you call them in your area, in there that I have made. And I will probably serve this with um, a little bit of that on top because it's just, I think, very good with fruit. My one friend made a, a delicious like lemon curd to put on top. I've tried that a few times. That That is very tasty as well. And maybe I should do some more of that because that uses a lot of egg. And right now we've got a lot of egg. But anyway, that's a really basic way to make a pudding. You can now refrigerate it for a little bit. It'll get thicker. You get, it'll get thicker here just sitting on the counter too. And then I'll put it in the fridge. And very fast, very easy. And if you don't want to just do a a bigger bowl like this. I just use this because I've got a nice lid to, to seal it up with. Um, you can do little individual cups or dishes if you want to make it look really fancy and let it set in there so it's perfectly smooth in there to top with berries. Um, I've occasionally done that when we're having people over for a party or something. But you can kind of see how thick it's gotten there. So now I'm going to quit messing with it. Kind of smooth out my top here. Not that that really matters, but just because I want to and scrape all the ones that are stuck to the side down and just let that set into my salad pudding. Now, if you try it right now, the seeds are still a little bit crunchy because they haven't fully absorbed that moisture. Um, but still very delicious. But shortly they'll be completely soft and you can make any texture you want. If you add a little more seed and a little less liquid, then uh, it will get um, thicker. If you add a little more liquid and less seed, it'll be a little thinner. So that is a super quick chia seed pudding. And hopefully some of you guys enjoy that and are enjoying whatever the spring weather is at your place. It might be less snowy than here. This is about five minutes later. And you can see the texture is now a, a beautiful creamy pudding. We hope you enjoyed it. Come back next time for more adventures. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.